We are in the room um, called the Foundation Room. This is a room where St. Eugene de Maisonot and his first companions lived. And it was here where the congregation of the Missionary Oblates of Mary Immaculate was founded 200 years ago. It is really an overwhelming feeling that we are here today, almost 200 years later. And with me is Father Louis Logan, the Superior General, the successor of uh, St. Eugene de Maisonot. Father, welcome. Thank you very much. And thank you for being here with us. Father, tell me, what comes into your mind? How do you feel just by being in this room today? You use the word overwhelming. Uh, that's a good word. You were overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed to come to this uh, holy place. It's a holy place for oblates. And uh, in this room, I right away feel I'm in touch with Eugene de Mazenod and Tampier and the First Companions. I feel um, uh, a deep sense of joy that our, our beginnings were here in a, in a humble environment. Uh, the beginnings were uh, challenging and difficult, but they came together for this, this amazing project for God. So it's uh, a wonderful experience to be in this room. And you're talking about the projects. When they came together, um, these young men, they were very young, and together they worked on that beautiful document that we call the Suplica, where they asked for authorization um, to the authorities of the church in Edson Provence to begin this community. And it's been 200 years ago which they, when they first composed that document. What does this mean to you, the 200 years anniversary? It's a great call to live what they began, I think, to be faithful to the vision that they uh, handed on to us. And when I come here and remember our anniversary, uh, we're going back, yes, to Aix-en-Provence, and we touch uh, that spirit of family, of community. We come into contact with their desire to be holy, to live a virtuous life, and how they wanted to rebuild the church and preach the gospel to the poor, to the young people, to the prisoners. So uh, coming here and celebrating this anniversary is a call to me to be faithful to that heritage in our context today. We have here this beautiful tree, which is a symbol that we have put in this foundation room, a symbol symbolizing the, the, the seed that was planted here. And it has become a tree that gives shade all over the world. All plates are today in about 67 countries. So really coming to X is coming to experience and to, to be in touch with the roots. Um, as the superior general of this big family, what would be your message today to the old place in the whole world? I firmly believe uh, we have an important mission in the church. Uh, I believe, uh, not with pride, but with hum humility, that our charism is very special. Our simplicity, our um, availability, our approachability, our capacity to speak the language of the people uh, bring us so close to the people. And going around the congregation, uh, I have seen that everywhere. I always remember the story of Father, um, or well, Bishop de Manson out at that time, going to visit an elderly woman on Rue de la Chelle in Marseille. And he writes afterward, the woman was so overjoyed to think the bishop would bring her the sacraments. And he writes, I was more overjoyed to see her joy at receiving me and receiving the Lord. Yeah, I think our closeness to the poor, I'm sure it comes from the heart of Eugene de Mazenod. And that is what uh, we're called to live today. Um, not only the closeness to the poor, but also the holiness of life that he wanted us, that he himself struggled to live and wanted us to be in the name of God and the saints. Let us return to these roots, not to stay there with nostalgia, to look at old pictures and say how nice, but to look forward to our society today, our world. We have many good works in the congregation, but we cannot, let's say, rest, you know, comfortable we have to look who isn't being reached today and uh, get out with the good news to them. Uh, the church needs us and continues to 
to need us. And in that regard, I would say to the congregation, please work for vocations. We can be so involved in our work that we don't have time to invite, you know, young men to think of our lives. And sometimes we don't even believe, you know, there's anyone interested in joining us. So we have to continually invite uh, new members to join us so that the poor will hear the gospel preached to them. Thank you very much. Um, it is indeed a moment of great renewal, a moment of joy, and uh, a moment of gratitude. And we are indeed grateful. Happy feast to everyone. Happy anniversary. <laughs>